All right, now let's take a look at childhood depressive and bipolar disorders in this mini lecture. Approximately 2% of children and 8% of adolescents currently experience major depressive disorder. And as many as 20% of adolescents experience at least one depressive disorder. So now taking a look at major depressive disorder, as with the anxiety disorders, very young children lack some of the cognitive skills that help produce clinical depression, thus accounting for a low rate of depression among the very young. Depression in the young may be triggered by negative life events, particularly losses, major changes, rejection, or ongoing abuse. Childhood depression is commonly characterized by such symptoms as headaches, stomach pain, irritability, and disinterest in toys and games. Now when we take a look at adolescents, clinical depression is much more common among teenagers than among the young children. And in fact, suicidal thoughts and attempts are particularly common. When we take a look at some of the statistics and age, although no difference exists between rates of depression in boys and girls before the age of 13, girls are twice as likely as boys to be depressed by the age of 16. Several factors have been suggested for this, including hormonal changes, increased stressors, increased emotional investment in social and intimate relationships, Another factor that has received um, some recent attention is the girls' growing dissatisfaction with their bodies. Taking a look at bipolar disorder, it's kind of, it's kind of interesting how this one has been looked at. Um, for decades, conventional clinical wisdom held that bipolar disorder is exclusively an adult disorder where the earliest age of onset is in the late teens. And then there's been some different trends in terms of the disorder. And since the mid-1990s, clinical theorists have begun to believe that many children um, do display bipolar disorder. Most theorists believe that the growing number of children diagnosed with this disorder reflect not actually an increase in frequency, but a new diagnostic trend. And in fact, there are some theorists believe that the diagnosis is over applied to children and adolescents, and in some sense has become a catch-all applied to almost every explosive, aggressive child. So as a result, and there was a lot of research and a lot of work done on this, the DSM-5 task force basically concluded that the childhood bipolar label has definitely been over applied and to fix the situation they created a new category which is this disruptive mood dysregulation disorder which is targeted for children with severe patterns of rage. This reclassification or this new name for this disorder is particularly important because the current shift in diagnosis has been accompanied by an increase in the number of children who receive adult medications. And one of the challenges is that few of these drugs have been tested on and approved specifically for children. So this mini lecture took a look at depression and bipolar. Next, we will take a look at oppositional defined disorder and conduct disorder.